In the second part of this tutorial, let's detail out our weapon grip. So we want to cut out this, make this circle, half circle, and also this crease around the around the top of the grip. So let's take a look. How can we do that? So first of all, after the poly poly bevel. For us to make our job a little bit easier, we need to center this this whole object at the center. So what we can do, put down transform. So right click on this and snap to centroid. This is gonna put right at the center our our pivot, and then with the grid snapping on, just go to the center of it. Now. Let's clip it. And now let's mirror it. Like that. So now we have mirrored this weapon. And it's in and and center is right at 10 0. After that, we want to put down subdivide. Let's put that to 2. I know it now looks pretty high, but it's pretty important for us to create this kind of look for us to box slide this mesh very nicely. And one I think I did wrong is I actually mirrored it at the wrong wrong one. So let's go to the let's go to the clip. I just flip it around. that so that the crease is, in, is not being deleted so let's put down the boolean and for this kind of detail I want to put down tube let's make it to the X move it here let's make more columns and let's scale it in. Maybe something like that. So let's take a look at the. Let's go to the two. Let's move it outside. Let's turn off also the snapping. And now, for it not to take the whole object, I just want to rotate it a bit. Something like that. Maybe even more. So let's take a look somewhere in here. So this looks nice. For the next part, let's create this cutout. Let's make a box. Make these together. Like that. Then just take this and move it out. that so we have made these changes and now we just have to create this kind of circle so my video I guess a little bit of cut out so sorry for that so basically I just put down the sphere merge it together and for us to make this detail in the other side, one of the benefits that we just made, because this detail is actually at the middle, we can just take this sphere object, duplicate it, pipe it into the same merge node, and just we know that it's an x x axis that is that controls the depth of our 
boolean and we just take out the negative sign and it's gonna move right at the other side perfectly placed it gonna place it perfectly there so now I think we are done with the boolean booleaning out the details for this grip now let's create the lock slide mesh let's put down the labs lock slide mesh node what I like to do is go to the custom and for us to start with the something very small something like zero zero one you can see we have pretty well edges but of course it's very you just have to smooth it a bit what I like to do is go in for a big smoothing and this looks pretty much fine now the reason we can get this smooth result is because we actually subdivide it very nicely very two times we have subdivided and at the voxelite mesh node even with the very small voxel sizes we get very nice result even when we smooth out so the smoothing doesn't have very much of a result on the actual shapes of the cutouts so so after that let's create the low poly, poly model now let's put down poly reduce node maybe let's start with the output polygon count just have to wait a bit It can take a little bit of time for initial reductions. Alright, so we are at the thousand polygons. Let's try out maybe 500. I think 500 could work. As you can see, that at some points we are losing a little bit too much of a geometry in places like edges, or something like that. And also this shape is not very well defined anymore, so it's very likely that it won't break out very nicely. So what I like to do, let's go to this and put this some to something like 5000. Now we're getting very dense mesh. And now put down the paint attribute. And now let's just paint in the places where we want more polygons. Something like here, and maybe at the grip bottom. We want more geometry. And maybe even like here. So, so we want more geometry right there. So let's put down another border reduce. And for it, just we have to go back to <coughs> little to the attribute, and the attribute name is actually I think it's mask for this. It's great the mask attribute, so that's uh, we want to use it. And now let's output maybe like 500. And you can see what kind of difference we are actually making. Place like here that's still retain the shape very nicely and we are only at the 500 polygons for this grip so let's turn it off you can see what kind of difference we're making we are retaining the objects shape much more so this looks fine for our low poly so now we just have to let's auto you read let's take a look at the UVs and this looks fine very easy press on merge small island this looks fine so now 
put on the baker low resolution and the high but to make sure we were taking the the source of the our web slides mesh so after we have piped everything in make sure you have flipped Y and just press bake and we are done with the baking so let's put down quick material choose the normal map to switch it baked maybe if you take a look we have baked out very nicely only on a 500 polygon mesh and so put it inside the substrator and let's take a look how it looks to that in a substance painter I just baked out some of the maps for the smart materials let's turn them off so let's take a look at it. You can see that we are getting very nice details for all the parts and only a 500 polygon mesh and with the, with the material on we have backed out high resolution detail on this mesh very nicely. So that's it for this tutorial. See you guys next time.